my my main man Bill Escudier here wrote it and directed it. It's a a, a film kind of uh, following this uh, schmuck's life in his schlub, his little office uh, that he works in with uh, Bill playing one of the characters and Bane, and Bane playing play another Shana. one of the characters. The office floozy. <laughs> and they're, yeah, they're she's a tart. She's a minx. They're she's awful. They're awful, awful people. And Ruben, my character, is the sort of the manager of this little company. And his life is is uh, sort of worthless. It's miserable, but I don't. He doesn't know it uh, until someone. You know, it's one of those things like the sort of inciting incident, as they say. Yeah. Um, a woman walks in, and she's just a little mysterious, maybe perhaps a little enigmatic, perhaps. Yeah. 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 And. Um, so he falls in love. She's very beautiful too. Unfortunately, our actress Jessica Makinson could not make the trip. Yeah. Um, but you'll have to trust us on that. Yes. Or see it. Yeah, yeah. You'll see it. Yeah. You'll see. She. And she's very pretty. And so he falls for it. She's very sweet. And again, she's uh, just a little, kind of like something, something a little off. Order about. turn off. And if you if you if you uh, you know reference the we title, look, we look like we're we are. Are. You guys are we are. are. No, we're friends. <laughs> yeah, really close. Uh, yeah, close. Yeah, just friends. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah buddy. Yeah. Um, so how did you guys actually make a movie? <laughs> uh, very carefully. <laughs> <laughs> it's compli it's and, complicated. And, and, and was yeah. it a documentary or? It was, yeah. <laughs> pretty much. Pretty much. We could have just as easily said love is preposterous. Right. <laughs> but Actually, anyway. what was the title uh, The title before? The first title was, uh, the working title was uh, The Mendoza Line, which I don't know if you know this, but like in It's sort baseball, of a measure. Yeah, it's yeah. sort of like the, uh, it's a stack. It's a demarcation. It's a demarcation of whether you're going to stay in the majors with your batting average or yeah. go down to the minors and it's 200 and there is a baseball player named Carlos Mendoza, I believe it was Carlos Mendoza, who had a lifetime batting average of 200, and so they're in line. So Mendoza line. So the our sort of uh, main character, I'd say our pivotal character, uh, may or may not be uh, have special needs or be mentally challenged, and that therein lies the sort of metaphorical. So she's she's she's, 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 she's potentially on the fence. Hello, yeah. or right on the Mendoza. She'd be like a like let's say if seventy was the line for. Well, it's all relative to right. Exactly. Oscar. Yeah, yeah, Oscar. Yeah, hey, Oscar. Hey, yeah, Oscar. Hey, yeah, Oscar. Hey, Oscar. Oscar. From cops. Who might remember Oscar? Oscar. Here, sit down. Here. Buddy. Take a seat. Hello, Chris. I just had a massage. Yeah. yeah. Are you going to lose the screen I am, and the girl was like nice looking, tall, hot. And I say goodbye. Thank you so much. She's like, hey, thank you for the massage. I swear to God, 15 years ago, I would have been like, hey, what's up? Thank you. <laughs> now I'm like, I'm like my mother. Thank you. The one that I took to make him late. I got no sexual vibe. I got nothing going on. I'm like the old slave guy who does jokes. But you're engaged. Matter. <laughs> my Cubanness should counteract that. Uh, yeah, yeah. My, yeah. My, the Latin. You could have been, li been a little yeah. spicier. Oh, nothing. I was my mother. Yeah. I, I swear. I think I, I went like this. I Thank think I covered it, <laughs> and I think I knelt. Shawl. <laughs> yeah, he covered himself up. Thank you. Thank you, Lee. This is wonderful. My penis is smaller than your clitoris. <laughs> oh, wow. Are you taping? Oh, that just happened. He's, oh, yeah, he's yeah. on TV, I, so he can do these things. Yeah. <laughs> that was. I would. I would never story? say that. That was freaking real. That was real. That that just happened. That freaking that just happened. Should, 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 All right. So anyway, back to the movie. Back to the movie. <laughs> no. And on that note, no, he's, he's leaving. He's yeah. hallucinating. Right he, he may be under some kind of like hallucination. <laughs> yeah, she slipped yeah. up in that so cucumber water, he's, man. Yeah. Yeah, it's the eucalyptus. He's on like, he's on he's, he's on DMT. He's tripping on that yeah. <laughs> Smoking. He's, he's gonna smoking. actually get fired from his job on the office <laughs> as a result of this interview. Yeah. Yeah. The reviews are in and what? Yeah. What are they saying? It's a hit. Oh! <laughs> like what? Okay. All right. Yeah, he's loose. Right. Like Dick Van Dyke. Yeah. Walked in. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway, too many. A lot, lot of lot of chefs. What are chefs? Festival. Yeah. We're talking. Oscar about plays Gary, by the way. Yeah, Oscar actually plays my brother. Shouldn't you stop sweating at some point after a massage? <laughs> Or just at some point in veil. I just thought it was the lotion. I'm just sweating. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was in better shape. Stacy is like the lady. I swear shape. to God, I'm 181. I've never weighed it. You're one. I'm one. I've never weighed this much. Is that heavy for you or? Usually I'm 132. What? 32? I'm kidding, I'm kidding. He's putting on weight for Battle of the Network stars. He's fighting Lou Ferrigno. He's <laughs> going on Celebrity Fit Club soon. Just gonna, I told him, they out told him like, you need to put on like 50 more pounds or we can't use you, man. And then you have to take it off yeah, right before exactly. the show. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> He's perfect. And it's it. just for a voiceover. Why? <laughs> Why must I Why get weight? Really? 
Yeah. Hey, I'm doing I'm doing the voice of a penguin. Why would I have to put on 35 pounds? He's a chubby penguin. He's chubby. You have a sk you have a skinny is, larynx. Is that, he sounds, he sounds like this. Probably. Is that a maker's mark? Probably. Yeah, With Diet Coke? Yeah, you probably. Oh yeah. yeah upside down. Probably. Alright, I'll go get one. <laughs> well, maybe you can wait until the way. Yeah, let's But what is he Three doing? Just as, maybe he, at us. maybe Chris would like. I'm wondering when he's going to click the button and actually take a picture. <laughs> this is, Chris is lying. I know, I know. He's very that, talented. Uh, okay, for those people in the audience, audience yeah. he's holding a Canon 35mm camera. Just to get that <laughs> reference. With yeah. a uh, sound yeah, but boom mic on it. I grew up. We sound highly technical. That looks like a camera that you would take family portraits. Yeah, it's lovely. Doesn't look like a movie camera. Well, he could have done the whole thing on a flip phone. Exactly. That would that would not be that I'm actually crazy. hip to. That yeah. technology I'm actually I, yeah. I get that one. So are, you guys, are you guys gonna ski while you're out here at all? Or? Yes. Not even yeah. doesn't look like all snow's melting. Yeah. But no makers mark. If, if, the, if there's any what snow. What do you know about the, the, the ski Sunday. biking? Ski biking. Yeah, the ski biking is actually what like we're going to Like the Beatles, like, uh, who did that? Didn't the Beatles do uh, help? Yeah. Ski biking? Yeah. yeah. I want to I wanna try that. Austria, like, so what's next for you guys? Oh, L.A. Shorts. <laughs> Skiing. L.A. Shorts, getting wasted. Yeah. Uh, we, got, we got a gallon of Maker's Mark in the room. We got a gallon of Maker's Mark that I'm going to yeah. yeah. beer bong. Yeah. <laughs> going to take a bath in it. Yeah. No, no next. No, uh, so did you guys know each other before the film? Yeah. Because you guys are very comfortable with it. Me, Bill, Oscar, and Anne. Andy mm -hmm. all met years ago at the Groundlings, and then I met Bill six years ago working on a TV show. Yeah, yeah. And, and we I've needed a girl in the gang, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's got Lucky the chops, me. man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oscar is one of my first uh, and oldest and dearest friends from Los Angeles, and I think we met in '94. So we go way, way. Andy back. and I met in this is no joke, 1978. Oh, That's not a joke. Yeah, they were, they went to We're elementary. Eight, school. Nine years old. Oh yeah, sat next to each other in fourth grade. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and then we all met in the ground. Oh, yeah. <laughs> was it the groundlings? It was. Yeah, the four of us. And then we did a show. This was the best because we went out and did our own show with uh, a bunch of other people who went out to. It, kind of the, the some people what, went what, on to Saturday Night Live. It's what is now the what short film. It was oh, you used to. Do, you people do short films now. I think yes. as sort of a way what? to say I want to do something that yeah. I have some control. Yeah, yeah, it used to be. It used to be you'd go and do like a, a, a sketch show. Let's say you'd get a small theater in LA that was cheap, and you'd get your friends yeah, together and it, you know uh, write sketches. Or a lot of times you'd take maybe your your greatest hits from a show that you're doing at a place like the Groundlings or Acme Theater or something like that. And you'd get together. It's kind of like the old Mickey Rooney, like, we hey, let's put a show together. Took the highlights from from ours. <laughs> and in fact, yourself. I know. <laughs> in fact, Mickey, Ro Mickey Rooney was in hey, the original cast. We met at the Groundlings? Yeah. So, did we all meet we, at the same no, time? We, we, you no, 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 no. You guys had the class before. In the very, very oh, first class. See, Oscar, yeah. Oscar gets forgetful, so okay. we have to. <laughs> yeah, because we met. Oscar's 109. How much of your film was the script and how much was improv? A lot of it was the script. Yeah, probably 95% was the script. We said the same number. Here, this is uh, beautiful Edie coming oh, in. Oh, oh hi, yeah. Edie. Say something with a contact. Edie comes with the place. <laughs> she. No, only a, only a small amount was improvised. Oh. Yeah, well, it was one of those things that it's 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 not the kind of film that you would do a ton of improvising in because there's a, there's an objective, you know, at play. Whereas sure, if you were time. just doing silliness and all that stuff, then yeah, you you can really improvise. Like and, this and, interview. Yeah. <laughs> totally. Silliness. But yeah, Brad obviously falls. we're falling <laughs> over. He's, he's gonna edit this down to thirty seconds. Yeah, right. So. Exactly. Oh, you're dreaming. No, it's but they say it has, it has to be at least half the length of the film. So. <laughs> Nine <laughs> minutes. No, it, like, but that's the thing. Like all these guys. We could were, the have a background right now, in sketch and improv, so they bring their shenanigans to the table. So. Are you guys fans of Upright Citizens Brigade? And oh, yeah. Yes, I live right up the street from there and perform there sometimes. Don't cross from the Scientology? Yes. Center? We're also fans of Scientology. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't, don't Celebrity run. Center. Yeah. Were, were you guys the ninja yeah. that attacked? Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, yeah, 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 he, no, we knew no, him. I wish I had known that was going to happen. I would have camped what is Yeah, he was working, ninja ninja he was working at the, the coffee bean on... Um, a ninja, ninja was. attacked the side. Yeah, there's a ninja barista. Where, where were you guys? You can't this describe the news. I didn't. I didn't know anything about this. Like, ninja? Did you know about this? Like, is this Scientology weird enough that like you wouldn't need the ninja? You know. Like, <laughs> I think if you're gonna go at him, you have I think to be you a gotta ninja. go fucking ninja, man. You gotta be like, <laughs> ninja. There it is. Um, shout out to UCB, the best improv troupe in Why? LA. Okay. A convoy. Convoy. Oh, okay. Convoy. He yeah. wears you know their shoes. You know Convoy? <laughs> no, I haven't seen it. I know the really? Yeah. Uh, it's three fellas. You mean Convoy with Chris, Chris, with, uh, Chris Thompson? Sam, Chris, Sam Peckinpah? <laughs> 
Chris Christopherson. Yeah, we got all great big yeah, we got all oh, oh, the <laughs> well, that's, that's a great name. That's what it is. It's cowboy. Yeah. Cool. Oh, they're so good. We'll go as a group, guys. Yeah. Well, great. Can you look at some? Can I go? You can go. Yeah, yeah, please. Yeah. Where do you live, Chris? Chris, yeah, Chris, 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 yeah, you can have my spot. I'm going to up. If you're in LA, go see Convoy. Yeah, yeah. cool. <laughs> and we have another project Work coming up. Yeah, that's what I was going to. Are you going to work on a feature? Yes. Next is a feature. And it's called The Notary, and it's going to be magical, and it's the best thing any of us will ever work on. Yeah. How about that for hype? Yeah. Well, this is based on a real thing that happened with my wife and I. We were uh, refining our condo, and they sent over this notary who was like just a total, like, hilarious. he was like, yeah, isn't that hilarious? No, but he was, the moment he walked in, he was a clown, and he's sort of like telling us, like, we sign up on the papers, and he's like, this, these papers won't leave my sight. I, legally, I am bound to have a, a sidearm that I will sidearm where I will uh, protect the documents. They'll be with me all the time. The guy calls like the next morning, and he's like, "I lost your documents." <laughs> I'm not shitting you. Like, I remember being like, "Are you like your whole thing was?" Yeah. I I promise you, I almost killed a guy one time. I always carry a sidearm, Bill. So and just know. And he's a notary. He's a notary. Like why? And he, and he would talk like he was an attorney too. He's like, as a notary republic, I can tell you uh, from a legal perspective, uh, I can carry a sidearm. Like anyway, moving on. Yeah. Anyway, his Who, car who's gonna was play the notary? Into, right? His car was uh, broken. Well, it would be the the the. You just well, it's, it's still a notary. The, the yeah, writing stage. All right. Yeah. Uh, thank you. We're looking thank forward you. to seeing the film. We're looking forward to seeing this edited down I, to see I what on yeah, earth what, it becomes. What is gonna come of this? <laughs> what what is gonna happen? It'll be on.